Thank you for watching a demonstration of Enroute software. To show you a little bit about how Enroute works, we're going to start off by opening a new file. When you open a new file, you're prompted to define your plate. And this is going to be the X, Y, and Z of the material you're going to put regardless of what type of, of cutting device you're using, whether it's a 2D cut or a 3D cut. And from the very beginning here, you can see that we're going to give you as many areas where you can reuse frequently inputted information and, and save these as a template and reusing it without having to enter this information all the time. And right here from this screen, we have a, a bunch of different uh, plate sizes here. So I can take the sizes of plates I frequently reuse, save them as a particular name, and then easily recall them. And this is going to store information like uh, where are we surfacing at the top or bottom of the plate, and a margin if there is any. We also have here the ability to establish a material library and this is going to allow us to specify specific materials and default feed rates that go into these materials. So uh, even from the beginning and all throughout the program you're going to see a lot of areas where information that is frequently inputted or, or has a lot of variables can be saved and reused. Once we hit OK here you're going to bring a red rectangle up on screen and this represents the plate that you're going to set on the material. I can come up here and double click the word top and I'm going to be able to see all four views here and from within any of these views I can zoom in using the scroll wheel or some other hotkeys that will allow me to move around. From the top view this is where we're going to bring in things that we're going to cut which are primarily going to be 2D type of cutting and uh, there's a certain workflow you're going to go through uh, regardless of what type of software or, or type or cutting machine you have, you still have to go through the same basic steps. So in that regard, most CAD CAM softwares will have a commonality in terms of the workflow. What sets them apart is the different way that you go to achieve the things in the work in the workflow. So the first thing you will have to do is draw your parts. You can do this in and route and using in route uh, impressive array, array of CAD tools, you can create all your parts or you can choose to use another program and import either layered files or, or just uh, all the geometries in one layer and use another program as your drawing package. Once you bring them into a route or once you've created your geometries, you'll want to create different types of tool paths. Uh, this is based upon the specific tool you're going to be using to cut and the material would determine what types of tools you're going to use. Uh, and you have different things such as cutouts or pocketing or, or or your cutouts would be also known as a profile cut where you're going to cut a part out and, uh, and there are other types of tool paths as well. Once the tool paths are applied you're going to nest the objects. Uh, this is to get them all as close together as possible and to reduce your cut time and material waste. You're going to order things so that you're going to cut your your internal pocketing or cuts first and then do your cutouts last and you want to or you might want to have some other special order. And then finally, it would become time to output. And as part of the ordering, you would probably do some kind of simulation. So these are the, the tools you need to be able to do. And this is whether you're doing 2D manufacturing or 3D graphic manufacturing, where you're doing 3D parts, you're going to go through these, these same steps. So uh, within this area, we'll tell you that Enroute has a complete set of drawing tools. If we come here to the drawing menu, you can see that we can create lines, rectangles, circles, text, polygons, and you have really a full set of, of shape drawing tools here. You have some other standard kind of editing tools such as trim, extend, fillet. You can do a partial or a full offset of a geometry. You can join open contours that are separated and, and bring them together. Uh, we can also uh, create a uh, or select ge geometries and do a cleanup on them to uh, to be able to uh, clean up and reduce unnecessary points. So there's really quite a comprehensive group of design tools here. Uh, once it comes time to create your uh, toolpath, you would come to the toolpath menu and you have a few options here. Do I want to pocket out in the selected area? Do I want to do a routing offset? Or maybe some combination thereof for a part. So just for a quick example here, we're going to choose a uh, routing offset. And since we had some text on screen, it's telling us, do we want to convert this to curves? And we're going to say yes here. Now, uh, we would select our type of tool we want to use from our available tool list. So let's just say for this example, we'll use a 3 16 end mill. We'll specify our cut depth, maybe wanting to go a little deeper than the plate. And we would determine, do we want to go inside or outside of the contour? Uh, and there's a whole bunch of variables here. 
You can also apply ad additional tools that you might want to be a clean tool to, to, to clean out around the material and you can have an unlimited number of those. Once you get in one of these particular tools, you have a lot of information here, such as um, how many passes do you want it to be to, to do this cut? How, uh, what width, if you want to cut wider than the, just the width of the tool, you can do that by assigning a, a width of your cut. Uh, how fast you want to go and feeds and speeds, what direction, climb versus conventional, and any 3D uh, entry exit parameters you might want to use if you want to gradually enter or you want to enter at a specific angle or an arc. So there's a lot of information here that you can save. And, uh, and instead of having to apply this every time, you can come here and hit save as and save this as a reusable toolpath strategy. So, so creating toolpaths becomes as easy as just opening a dialog box and selecting from a list. Now, uh, when it comes time to nesting, you're going to want to nest your parts and uh, as long as order and, and output. And here uh, we can see if we want to create a few different nesting shapes here. We can say we want to nest all these parts. Maybe we'll create two copies of all these different pieces. We're going to nest originals and we might want to create a remnant here. So if we hit OK, uh, and this gap's kind of big, let's put a little smaller gap there. Uh, we'll just actually get these as close together as possible. We're going to say OK and hit Apply. And then Route is going to take these parts and nest them. And in addition to doing this nesting, it creates a new shape. This shape can then be used to uh, become a new plate. And to do that, you might want to rotate it. And so here we can come to the Rotation tool set a rotation point and just rotate it around here. We actually created a new shape, a copy of that. And uh, we could move this to our lower left-hand corner position using a little shortcut here of Control-1. And uh, we can then take this other part and convert this to our, our plate. Now we can take these shapes and nest them inside here. Now let's say there was an area that you don't want to uh, nest in around. And so let's come here and, and uh, just create an area that maybe for whatever reason I don't want to nest in here. I can select all these parts, go back to nesting, and we'll use our new nesting algorithm and say we want to use some obstructions here. Uh, and so we will come here and hit apply. And in this case, I'm, I'm nesting to the center of the plate, which might help me with vacuum hold down. Uh, we'll hit apply. And because I had obstruction checked here, we are not going to nest within where this circle was. So uh, these are the kinds of functionality that uh, advanced types of functionality you have within route. And these are the kinds of things that uh, allow you to really do a much higher level of production. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, nest this uh, to the lower left hand corner of the sheet here. And uh, let's go back to our standard nesting, say lower left hand corner and hit apply. Okay, so now we have all of our parts here. Uh, so the next thing we would do is when it comes time to output, we want to do a simulation on this. Now we can do a 2D simulation. And this is just going to show us where each, uh, what path we're going to take. And in this case, and route's trying to not paint itself into a quarter, a corner, and use the uh, shortest method. You could also do rows and columns, and, and you have a lot of control over your toolpathing order here. Uh, and then you can also do a 3D simulation. And sometimes this would be um, more helpful than others, depending upon what type of cutting you're doing. But uh, here we can come and do a, a simulation. And this is actually going to show us where this part has been, where the parts are and, and how they're being cut here on the sheet. So uh, you have a number of different ways to verify your toolpath once you've applied your toolpath. And uh, this would take you from the design step all the way through the outputting phase. So this gives you an idea of what some of the more advanced capabilities of Enroute are.